Here's the MATLAB plot showing the theoretical and experimental step responses co-plotted. Here's the MATLAB script that made the plot. This part was developed from another script which will be shown next. This part is where the theoretical closed loop transfer function is developed. This part reads the experimental data and plots it. Copy the Excel file and the picture file into the folder with the MATLAB scripts. Open the picture file to make sure that it really is the right step response. Open the Excel file. Notice the sample interval. In this case, it's one millisecond. The sample interval is determined by the oscilloscope. Select all the data in the second column. The first column is time, but it's not useful because the trigger point doesn't correspond to the actual start time. We're going to transfer that data to a notepad. We're going to strip off the leading zeros Select all of the leading zeros and determine where the function really starts. Uh, perhaps right there. So strip off all the leading zeros. Save it as a file name that MATLAB can read. It has to end in .txt. I'll call it lab7dat.txt. Before acquiring the step response on the oscilloscope, Make sure that the zero set knob minimizes the voltage out of that amplifier and also that the zero set knob here minimizes the current. As a review, to do that requires that there be no signal into this op amp. This must be in the off position. The feedback signal has to be removed. We'll measure the voltage at the output of that op amp with a voltmeter. With respect to ground, Turn this knob until we get as close to zero as possible for the output of that amplifier when there's no input signal. That's not connected and there's no feedback from the output potentiometer. Then that has been adjusted. Minimize the current under those conditions with this zero set knob. Connect position feedback. Connect the amplifier output to the input to the P2 potentiometer. Set P1 and P2 to the design values and then you're ready for the step response. 
the step response probably should have a negative going step in order that the output shows up as a positive step. Set the oscilloscope for a single sweep, press trigger menu, mode normal, rising signal, channel 1, single sequence, and then you'll see this indicator when the acquisition is complete and when it's armed and ready for the incoming signal. The trigger position is controlled by this The trigger voltage is determined by this, a little bit above zero. Channel 1 should be on DC coupling, bandwidth limit on, coarse volts per division, probes times 10, make sure the probe is set for times 10, and then the oscilloscope should be ready to capture this signal.